guys, so today we are going to be talking about the different Cricut cutting machines. I always get a lot of questions and emails about which Cricut I would recommend for people. So I just kind of wanted to go through the similar similarities and the differences between the three cutting machines and kind of give you a better feel of what Cricut would be best for you. So we have the Cricut Maker here the Cricut Explore Air 2, and the newest, the little Cricut Joy. All of these are amazing machines and they are perfect for beginner crafters. I can tell you when I first started with the Cricut, I started with even ones before this one, with cartridges and stuff, probably almost 10 years ago. I was not a crafter. I had bad handwriting and I can't draw, so I wanted a machine that, that could cut things out for me that I could put on cards and things like that. And so I don't really even consider myself a very creative person. I get inspired by a lot of stuff, but these machines just do it for me. So um, I can just program or find a, a project I want to do in Cricut Design Space and push a go button and the machines do all the work. So they are really for anyone, not for people that have been crafting for a long time. They're for anyone that just, so first off, all three machines, um, cut a variety of materials. They are very easy to use. All of them use Cricut Design Space, which is the software you can use on a desktop, a laptop, an iPad, a tablet, even your phone. So I will pull up projects from my phone. And so it's really versatile on where you can do it. You don't have to be dragging computers. They're Bluetooth compatible, so you don't need to be using cords and things like that. So um, really easy to do anywhere. Okay, so let's start talking about the Cricut Explore Air 2. Okay, so I'm going to open the machine and you can see this one's a little bit different right off the bat that it has a wheel and this is the setting wheel that's easy just to flip back through. It has vinyl, iron-on, light cardstock and things like that. So this machine can cut about a hundred different materials or so. So it can cut as iron-on, any kind of iron-on that you're going to be using to put on shirts, totes, things like that, infusible ink, which is the new product that actually infuses into shirts and things like that. This will cut. And all three of the machines actually do use the pens and markers. So it has that function to write on cards or write on things. Um, the joys are different markers and I'll show you those. So these are just a variety of materials I can cut. Washi sheets, faux leather, this can cut cardstock, any type of cardstock, thick cardstock, glitter cardstock, really anything. Um, like foil acetate sheets, I've made cute little boxes um, with that. Some other fun specialty materials like corrugated cardstock, craft board, belt it can cut. This is just an adhesive vinyl and it uses just the basic blue. This is a light grip mat, but also a green mat. So the same mats you will use with the Explore Air 2, you will use with the Cricut Maker 2. So, so you can really make a ton of things with the Cricut Explore Air 2. When I first got it, I probably used this for about five years before I moved up to the Maker. Um, this one cuts does come with different blades. It has the fine point housing, then it has a deep cutting blade for some of the deeper materials like bonded material, some of the thicker materials that you'll cut. It also does come with, you can get a scoring stylus with it so it can score things. So this one doesn't cut, cut fabric like the maker does, but it will cut like a bonded fabric. So if you put um, a bonding on the back of the fabric, it can cut that. So like I said, I use this for a long time and the most, most of the decor I have around in my house is stuff I made with this. So perfect for cutting out vinyl, making stencils with it, um, to make any kind of really decor signs in your house, making t-shirts. Probably one of my favorite things to do is to make gifts and to monogram things and add personalization and names and things like that to gifts we give so you can add cut and add vinyl to mugs and tumblers and really anything you see i this is iron on vinyl that i applied to my bins up here 
my sign that I made with canvas and this is iron on vinyl that I used. So pretty much anything around my house I have made with one of these machines. So like I said, this one can cut about a hundred materials and it is for the amount of money it is, I've saved a ton of money by having these machines just on gifts and things like that that I can give. I don't have to buy custom gifts. I can get a blank and just make anything I want. And like I said, all the decor in my house, I've saved tons of money just by making it myself. So, and it, they come in a variety of pretty colors. Okay, so moving on to the Cricut Maker. So this is a beast of a machine. <laughs> really, it can do so much. So it is the most expensive of the machines, but really, again, I've saved a lot of money by using these machines and what it can do. So this can cut everything that the Explorer Air can cut, plus about 200 more materials. So it can cut about 300 materials um, precisely, and it can do so much more than just cut. Like I said, it can do the writing as this does but, but this you can get so many more different blades with it so you can do so many more things um, there is the rotary blade so you can cut fabric with it this is great for quilters sewers i made a lot of like zipper pouches with it it comes with different you can get different scoring wheels you can, it also comes with now a debossing tip an engraving tip a wavy blade and a perforated blade. So you can do like tickets with the blade, fun little cards that you can tear open with the debossing tip. I have um, deboss craft board with the engraving tip. You can engrave aluminum, you can um, engrave acrylic sheets. So just so much more you can do with this machine. And all these blades actually come with a quick swap housing. So you don't need to get a housing for each of them. They simply come off and you can put on a different tip if you want and super easy to swap out. You just open your clasp and this is my fine point blade and you just simply stick the whole thing in it, close it and you're ready to go. And another amazing thing that I love about the Cricut machines is the design space. The software tells you what to do. So really it's hard to mess up on these things. It tells you exactly what blade to put in. It will even tell you if you're using iron on to put it, it will tell you to put it shiny side down or put, if you're using infusible ink to put the infusible ink side up. We'll make sure that you have the mirror setting on. The maker actually checks that you have the right blade in here because I've done that before. You don't know what part of the project you're on and you abs accidentally put in the wrong blade and I'll get a message on my laptop saying, please insert this blade. And so I go back and I check and sure enough, I put in the wrong one. So that's what another thing I love about the design space is it tells you and it will pause and this will pause and start blinking and tell you to change mats. It will tell you to change blades. It will tell you to put a pin in. It will tell you a certain color if you put precisely what color you want. And again, you can just swap these out right in the middle of the cut without taking a mat out. So super user-friendly and design space, like I said, has changed a lot. Back in the day, we didn't have design space. So it, was a, it was a lot trickier to kind of cut things and get them exactly how you wanted it. But now, really, you can do anything. And it's just so fun. I love it. So let's talk about some other materials it can cut. Like I said, it can engrave like an acrylic sheet. It can engrave aluminum sheets like this with the engraving tip. Like I said, it can cut out hundreds different type of fabric. So super fun to, if you're a seamstress sewer to, you have to get a fabric grip mat too, but it can cut so many more things. Chipboard, so the thicker materials is what makes it really fun. Um, you can cut out chipboard. I've made quite a few decor pieces with the thick chipboard. They're a ton of fun to cut, cut out. It can cut things as thin as crepe paper. So it has such a versatile things of what it can cut. Basswood, um, you can cut out wood um, to make 
some wood signs and wood projects. Lots of fun with that. And really thick leather. This is a thick piece of leather. So it will cut out leather. It will even deboss on leather. Um, really, the possibilities are endless um, on what you can make with this machine. And the great thing about Design Space is there's already ready to make projects in there. So it pretty much tells you what to do um, and all the materials you'll need and exactly how to get started so you get used to doing things um, if you're not quite sure how to start. So as I've said, both of these, all of these machines use Design Space, which is super easy to set up and just kind of get going with anything. Um, I now use my Maker. I think I upgraded a couple years ago to the Maker and um, I love my Maker and all that it can do. It is the most expensive, um, but if you want to be able to pretty much do everything, cut so much more and do the engraving and things like that, then the Maker would be your best bet. So another thing about the Maker is I mentioned all of these blades and tools that it has. Cricut is still dedicated to bring out more blades in the future that works with this machine. So I am super excited to see what else they will come up with. So let's move on to this little cutie. So this is the newest and the smallest cutting machine that um, you can find. So if we open it, you can see, see here that this is super por portable. It weighs just a few pounds. Um, that's why I love this one now. So you can take it pretty much anywhere. You can move it around the house, easy to stick on a kitchen counter. Um, and it just fits right inside a cubby or on a shelf really anywhere. If you like to craft with friends or um, if you're on the road, a lot of people are doing like the organizing businesses. This would be perfect for that to be able to just comes with, you can get this cute little case put it in the case, put some materials in here, and then off you go. And you can sit there and actually cut labels and cut things like that, some vinyl decals and things like that um, in a client's house, It'd be perfect. One of the favorite ways I like to make this now is the cards it makes. It actually comes with a specific, you get this card mat, and there's a lot of pre-made or cards that you can make in Cricut Design Space already, and it just cuts it so easily. And then you just stick a, one of the cardstock inserts behind it. So they actually come in sets. And these are actually pretty cheap. They're like five or six bucks, I think, for a pack of cards with the inserts and the envelopes and things like that. This, since it is a different machine and it's so much smaller it can actually cut without mats so it actually has a whole line of its own products called smart materials so there is the smart vinyl like i said the smart labels that you can write on like i said this one uses pens too they are a different pen it's a smaller pen that fits inside here but you take this out and just put the pen in its spot right there <clears throat> again iron on so like i said you don't need a mat you can just insert this and it will take it just like that and cut it so you can cut up to like 20 feet um, of vinyl if you're using the same color. I did that with my son's room and we put a bunch of dog decals on the walls and it just went to town and I put it in and it cut the whole thing but they do come, it also comes with mats and materials here. So it does come with the smaller mats and these cut four and a half inches to 12 inches and the green mats. So similar if you have scrap pieces of vinyl and things like that, you can put them on here and cut them out. This one can also cut infusible ink. So you can do that on any of the machines. So like I said, this one I love just the portability of it and how small it is. I tend to pull this one a lot out a lot more now if I'm just cutting out some of the piece of vinyl to put on a wine glass or a cup or something like that. It's just easy to pop out or bring into my kitchen and just cut it real fast. And I will link um, some tutorials below on exactly how to use the Joy and some different 
projects you can make with it and I'll also link projects on the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and on the Cricut Maker below so you can go in and look a little bit more in depth and read about it and also link to where you can find these on Cricut.com and go and read a little bit more about them. So I hope that answered some of your questions. So if you're still wondering on kind of which one you want to get, um, I'd say the small portable one, if you don't have a lot of room in where you're crafting, if you want to be very portable, like I said, if you have a job that takes you somewhere that um, you need to craft to make it, you know, cut out a piece of vinyl, cut out labels. If you're making like tumblers, mugs, things like that, where you're just cutting out some vinyl and cutting out small, but a bunch of the same thing. This would be perfect for you. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, you don't even have to get mats if you don't want to. So it can save some money there and you can get the materials, but you can still use other adhesive vinyl and just cut it to put on your mat. So this is a perfect companion really to take with you. It also is a great companion for one of these if it's busy or something, um, or if you don't want to bring out your big one. So the Cricut Explore Air 2, I think is just a great all around machine. If you know, your main thing that you want to do is, you know, to cut cardstock, to make cards, to cut all sorts of iron on, to make t-shirts, to make bags, and then also to make decals for mugs, tumblers, um, to cut out adhesive vinyl to put on the wall, to cut out vinyl to make stencils with, to make decorations. Like I said, so many things you can do with this machine. So. And as I said before, the investment, I think it can be, seem like a bit much right at the beginning, but I think all the amount you save and it's super easy. I love making things for, like I said, friends will ask me all the time to cut out decals for them. Um, and it's just such, it's fun and a great feeling to be able to help other people and do it. If you want a, a machine that can do everything, the most powerful machine, the machine that can do Almost anything cut so many more materials can cut the fabric cut the wood really want to get in and be able to use the machine for all that it's worth the maker like I said is a little bit more of an investment but I think it's well worth it in the end if, if you love to craft and you want to be creative and even if you just want to start a side business of making things um, these machines, a lot of people start businesses making things. So again, make sure you check out the links below um, to read a little bit more about the machines and um, to shop and kind of compare them. And please let me know if you have any questions.